you could literally spend weeks collecting free digital assets. There are so many out there. I want to get you started with uh, four good ones, four good sources um, for a wide variety of resources. Uh, Design Cuts and Creative Market are both, both commercial sites. They sell things, but they also give things away for free. Um, six items per week for Creative Market. Design Cuts gives one item, but they also have tutorials and they'll, well, there's a lot of great value at both those sites. Spoon Graphics gives you a, a set of, of free resources and then you'll be on his mailing list and he'll send out emails. Hey, here I've got a tutorial on how to do this cool thing or that cool thing. Unsplash, very professional images all copyright free, things you can use without attribution, okay? So each one of these requires a sign up and talked about passwords. I told you you were gonna do it. So you click on, you know, design cuts. Uh, right now, mine says log out because I'm logged in, but you would create an account here and, you know, do what you have to do to remember your password and remember what I told you about passwords. And then, you know, there are, you might not like any of these, you know, the, the idea isn't download everything. Familiarize with yourself with it. And you can see there's lots of pages here. And um, snag, you know, a few things and then say, okay, well, I know where this is and I know I can come here to learn stuff as well as picking up freebies. Um, so there's, there's one. And then I'm just gonna skip down the list to Unsplash, I won't go through the other ones. But, you know, you can see these photographs are pretty high quality. And be nice, join, and um, we'll talk more about Unsplash isn't the only site. There's Pexels. There's all kinds. There's, there's dozens and dozens of free sites. This is probably the highest quality of all of them. And you can see that there's all kinds of ways to search and textures and patterns and, hey, cool stuff. We might use something like this in a project. Okay. So these are starter files that people freely share. I mean, how wonderful. Maybe one day you'll be good enough to do that as well. All right. So for now, what I want you to do is sign up on all four of these sites, you know, document that you have done so. And I tell you, this is a value. Now, some of you, I know, let, let's take game design, for example. I have a, a few kids who are working heavy in code, my veterans who want to go into game design. Okay, great. Oh, you're working in code. This doesn't apply to you. Are you kidding me? You know, your game is going to have a visual element to it. And you may not be creating it, but you'll find things that will inspire you and maybe go on your morgue file where you can um, link back to the source so that when you begin to produce your game, uh, you can tell the artist that you're gonna work with, hey, this I want it to look like this. I want you to use this kind of technique. So don't tell me that these things aren't applicable to whatever creative field you're interested in. It's all related, okay? You never know what's gonna spark inspiration. Okay, we'll talk later about organizing these files, but for right now, I want you to sign up for these four and document the fact and snag a few free graphics, put them in your documents folder, and um, we'll go from there.